The Explosion Museum of Naval Firepower traces the development of naval armaments from gunpowder to the missile and they're currently seeking more volunteers to join their restoration team. Our reporter Shan Robbins went along to Priddy's Harding Gosport to find out more about what they do. A team of volunteers and apprentices work together at the Explosion Museum to restore artefacts that have been bequeathed to the museum. The team are keen for more volunteers to join them. If you're retired and you want something to do, become a volunteer. Because, uh, you know, we, we as a, a team of volunteers, we enjoy the camaraderie. Uh, it's a reason to get out of bed. And it doesn't have to be somewhere like this. It could be anywhere. Um, life doesn't finish when you've retired. Wilf is retired and been a volunteer for the last two and a half years. The team are currently restoring a torpedo from the First World War. The uh, torpedo is uh, uh, about a 1916-18 vintage. It was dragged up from the seabed. Uh, there's been quite a lot of research done on it, so we know the date. Um, and we think it was a trials torpedo because it's quite unique. And um, what what we've done is a lot of the torpedo there now that's been taken off to be restored um, away from the main body of the torpedo and uh, at a later date it'll all be reassembled and that will go in the museum in the, in the torpedo section. Will has been working with the lead technician from the museum to help restore the torpedo. They started off using a drill and a metal brush to get most of the sea life off moving to a hammer and small file. So far we've stripped the engine out um, polished up as much as we can. This is the grouping from the torpedo. Um, this is what we've restored so far, and the, these pipes here. Um, this is the state they were in before, before we uh, polished them up and took all the sea life off. We have started using um, like um, solutions to get some of the sea life off that we couldn't quite get off, um, and then to polish it up, we just used a um, like a a brush wheel on a drill to get the final look and to get the finish on it. Um, it's really amazing that we can help people that volunteer um, and they are all enjoyable, they're all fun. Um, there's no pressure to get anything done like on deadlines really, but, um, but the level of work is really amazing, really. A lot of these artefacts are very delicate um, as the years go by. So we, we need to appreciate um, the work that's required and the, the right materials to work on those things to preserve them for the future. That's one thing you've noticed then, that the level required is it's not haphazard and you do quality work here. Yeah, it's more um, restoring it back to its original state, so it's key to get it right first time and to its best standard. Are you concerned that you might break something when you're trying to restore it? We are concerned and there has been a few little things that have broken off um, but we are expecting it is a hundred and plus years old so um, we're trying our hardest not to break anything but by the looks of things we've done pretty well to get it back to its normal state. This is Shan Robbins for That's Solent.